Hello, Quick Chop fans. Tonight we're doing a new episode of Quick Chop. We're doing bay scallops, a really great product, really great seafood. I love it. Um, we're going to do a little different seasoning on it to make it uh, kind of pop a little bit for you. So stay tuned. Let's get chopping. Quick Chop is provided by Mission Grocery Outlet in San Francisco. So bay scallops, prices on them right now are pretty high. So maybe we don't cook a lot of them, but two or even one for a guest is sort of an appetizer. It's great and it won't bust the bank. Some people get intimidated by cooking these. They're afraid to overcook them. They're afraid to undercook them or they just don't know how to cook them. It's really treated not much differently than you would treat shrimp or scampi or something like that. But the way we're going to just season these a little bit makes them really pop great. Let me show you what I do and hopefully you'll follow along. One of the, the spices we're using on these guys is I've got a little smoked paprika, some curry powder, some cumin, and some turmeric. For dressing oil, I've got a little bit of toasted sesame oil and, of course, a little bit of salt. We're gonna forego the soy sauce. I like soy sauce sometimes because it gives it a nice browning, but not really necessary. This is a really quick, fast pan session, so it's, it's done in just a couple of minutes. A couple of different ways we can season these. You can sprinkle on them or we can dab them a little bit. Here's what I'm gonna do. So I've patted these dry on a paper towel. I just wanna make sure there's no lingering water on there. You can sprinkle these out of the, uh, of the containers that come in if you like, but we're just gonna take a little bit of spoon on here on each one of these, and it's kinda of equal parts, your, your, your discretion. What I'm doing is kinda of doing it up high so I can kinda of see what I'm doing. If I really wanted to see what I'm doing, I'd put my glasses on. That was the smoked paprika. This is the curry, the cumin, delicate on the cumin. And don't worry if it's kind of globbing up a little bit. We're gonna roll these around a little bit. And the turmeric. Now the turmeric will really give it a lot of color. I like turmeric, it's fun to use. I love doing it on chicken too. I'm gonna to put a little salt on there. Just some finishing salt. We're not gonna put any coarse kosher salt or anything like that. Just this sort of light finishing salt because it's gonna cook so quickly we want it to melt. A couple of different oils. I've got toasted sesame oil, but we're not gonna cook with this because it is really strong, it's really pungent. That's sort of a dressing oil. Today, avocado oil. Avocado oil has a really, really high flash point, real high smoke point. It can handle the heat because these cook so fast, we need the pan really hot. I'm just gonna drizzle these a little bit with this. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Oh, okay. So avocado oil, nice high flash point. Uh, it's really healthy for you too. So it'll handle that heat. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little of this on there onto our paper. Just gonna kind of roll around, rub this all in and get these nice coated. We may even go and season the other sides as well. The thing with these, especially like the cumin, the curry powder, turmeric, it little goes a long way. Okay. Nicely prepped. You know, and as I've said in the past, just wrap up your paper and you're done. I'm gonna rinse my fingers. Word about the turmeric as well, it also is a dye. So don't get it on your clothes. If you don't care about your towels, fine, but once you rub turmeric on there with your fingers, it's not coming out. It's, it's gonna be there to stay. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the pan. It's gonna be tell me my temperature, so outside is hot, inside is not. As I've mentioned previously in other episodes, you know, if you're not sure temperature of your pan, cast iron usually has some residual oil, so it's starting to smoke a little bit, but I put a little dab of water in there to, and when that water boils off, it tells me it's, it's close to temperature. Now, we're, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, avocado oil in. I'm using cast iron today, because it just, I like the way it browns. 
So we're gonna get a nice coating on there. Checking the temperature of my handle just to be safe. And we got hot oil, hot pan, so lay away. So start further away from you. About four minutes total, so we're really only uh, about two minutes aside. We'll be checking it to make sure that uh, we've got that resistance when we flip it. That'll kind of tell us the, the amount it's cooked. Yeah, so it's, it's smoky, so yeah, if you've got a smoke alarm in the house, probably a good time to make sure you don't have it activated. You want it nice and hot, because you want that nice brown caramelization on there, as you can see. And the cast iron, they're great. Don't get premature on turning it, because then that's, that's when they stick. Let it build that crust on there before you try to, to turn it. That's why I love these baker spatulas, because they're perfect for this. Because I can, they're thin and you can get down, you can flex them and get right in underneath that, that scallop. So they're still nice and a little soft. Still gonna let them go for a minute. Now there's a lot of oil here, so I'm just gonna drain these a little bit. Take that pan off right away. So we're just gonna put a couple of lemon slices on there. Like with a lot of things, always good to let them rest out of the pan. Don't just throw them right on the plate. That looks beautiful. Excellent, so garnished with a little lemon. They're great just like this. You don't need any sauces, you don't need any dressings or anything like that, just like that. Let the herbs that we put in do their magic and, and you'll be happy. You wanna do lemon garlic, go ahead and do lemon garlic. The important thing with scallops is cook them quickly, cook them hot, and that way they come out just perfect. And don't overcook them. Two minutes aside and that's all you need. So for the wine, I've got a Provenero Chardonnay down at uh, Mission Grocery Outlet. Great deal on this product, consistently very good. Always got a great oak character to it. I like a lot of our customers like it down there. Such a festive sound. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Great Chardonnay. Oh, one thing. Our toasted sesame oil, that, it's a really nice compliment to this. Really sparingly on these guys. Just a couple of drops on there. Because it's, it's pungent stuff. Okay, there you have it. Our seared bay scallops with just a turmeric and cumin and a wonderful California Chardonnay. Great summertime uh, aperitif for the patio. So thanks for tuning in. Next week we'll be having another one. Give us your comments, tune in at newsupnow.org and really appreciate you watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Take care, we'll see you next time. I get to try it.